I'm sure that was some comeback. Uh, what happened in the dressing room at half time? Uh, not a lot. We just uh, tried to correct a few things and told them that it's a, a team game. You know, everyone's got to make a difference, not wait for someone else. I just felt we played a bit cagey, which is understandable. Obviously, it's a, a nervy stadium to get that first win. Um, and I think we, we handled the second half very well. Two great moments from, well, certainly one great moment from Dwight and another good moment. Um, you know, I think after that, I thought we managed the game well, which obviously has come into question this season. So I was very pleased with the mentality to see the game through and manage it well, because I think we kept them down to pretty minimal as regards sort of near-cut chances. What was the full process behind the change and how pleased were you to see Harrison have such an immediate impact? Yeah, I mean... I think yes, but I said to him Andrew, he's learning about what it is here, you know, and you know, they said to him about, you know, reacting to a mistake, you know, getting after it, going shutting the game down. And, you know, he's a he's a player who is learning about the culture of Everton Football Club. Um and I think Jack's got more of that about him because obviously he's learned quicker, or not quicker, but he's learned over his time here. I was I was pleased for Jack because you know, we mentioned to him lately about his his energy's great and he's he's a very talented footballer either foot. And he used it today by doing the simple thing. Well, we mentioned about being, you know, playing more simple, playing two church, gets down his feet, puts a great ball in. So, please for him and please for the other subs. It's not an easy game, you know, to see through. And I was pleased for all the subs tonight. How tough was the call to bring Brownfleet back in so quickly? And were you Yeah, I mean, I think it's tough on Keno. I think he's had a, a, a strong start for the season and, and pre season. But I think that back five, I don't know the exact stat, but that back five played together quite a lot last season. And, and obviously, had 13 clean sheets, you know, in a tough season. So that's a, a pretty good measure of a, a, a back five that works well. And I thought it was, I thought it worked well for the most part anyway. It worked well today. And after a tough start to the season, what does that first win mean to you? Well, it just means it's a step forward. That's all. You know, the work's never done here. That's for sure. I've said it time and time again. You know, the, the reality is the expectation now is go and get win again, go and win again, go and win again. So that's the mentality we've got to show is, we just park that very quickly and we get on with next week. We get it building up to the next week, uh, the next game, sorry. Obviously, it's advanced, uh, advantageous to it to get Jared through it, to get Miko through it, you know, illness and injury. Um, they can only get fitter and sharper and others out there as well. Thank you. Cool. Well, David, uh, sir, I know David did a wobble when you come like beat on the ground, but how nice it did for, for you, for the player, just going through correcting me. With three, six. Yeah, to be honest, it's nothing to do with feet on the ground. I wish the feet weren't on the ground. I wish we'd have won all, all five. Um, the, the, the reality is, it's a tough, tough league, and no, I think, I think, I think it's good for the players. I think they they've earned the right from the the previous results because a lot of question marks to to play in a a nervy situation and see the game through properly, like we know we can do, and find the moments that can win a game. And I, I don't think we've been as far off as people think, um, especially the last few performances. But you've got to get things right at both boxes, and I thought we did that today. Sean, what was the main <clears throat> what were the main things you wanted to correct? A half time, just the feel of it. It's hard to explain. It was like, uh, I, I, you know, I, I was explaining to the lads sometimes in football, you wait for someone else to to make a difference, um, and sometimes they do, of course. But if it's a game when no one's quite making a difference, then it's got to be a collective. So it's more about that bringing not just a tactical thing. It's like a feel to an actual performance that that kind of emotional feel to wear the shirt, to get together, to play hard, to go and win a game. And I thought there was more edge to our game second half and, and the way they've delivered that was important. You've obviously been ahead a few times in recent weeks and not been able to to close it out a difference today. So what do you think made the difference this time around? Well, I think that, that you know, they that we debrief games, we speak to them we, and you learn, you know, that's what you want. Um, it's not that exact, obviously, it's not that easy. There's everyone to do it. Um, it's showing them ways that we can kill the game. or showing them from keeping your shape, showing the hard yards, showing... You know, professional things, and, and I, I appreciate that fans want, you know, glorious football constantly. It's hard to deliver that. So I said, you know, the professional things to do, you know, just lift it behind them. Ask questions of the opposition. Go and turn the game around and, and, you know, defend resolutely. So some of the basic principles of what it is. And don't forget to do the absolute basics, which is head it, kick it, and clear your lines. And I thought we did that very well as the game went on. Should we? Uh, Sean, how does it feel to have a positive week both on and off the pitch? Because it's been a rarity. Time you... Well, the off the pitch thing is we don't know whether it's a positive yet, um, but there's positive signs, that's for sure. So we'll wait and see on the ongoing situation. Um, on the pitch is the bit that I can at least try and control and it's, it's pleasing with the players. They put a lot of effort in there. We've still got players who are getting totally Premier League fit. Um, I think they'll benefit from that game today and, and the win. So the mentality, you know, the shift in mentality... 
Um, we need that. And I think that was important to reinforce the work. You need to win. You know, that's part of the process. You know, we played well. I thought we played ever so well at the beginning of last season and we couldn't find a win. Uh, we haven't played as well this season, although in a couple of games we have and, and we couldn't find that win and then we've done it today. So it's a strange situation, but that's more or less the, the, what I see is, is kind of focusing on the pitch, getting the new players to involve themselves and understand what it is to be here. And then the older, wiser players to go and deliver that. And I thought that, you know, Tarky's getting stronger again. I think Jared came in and did well, especially as he hasn't played. Young, excellent, I thought, with his mentality. I know he's been questioned here, but at the end of the day, that's why he's made it to where he is in life on the, on the football pitch and probably off with his mentality. And these are all clear, you know, they're really, really important markers um, for players to, to come through these things and to grow into what we want here. And the hope now would be to put a string of wins together. together. Yeah, of course. I mean, everyone wants that. It's not that easy. But yeah, that's the challenge is, you know, you win that one, park it very quickly and we go again. Sunday. Tough. Sean, did you, did you ask them to do something different in the midfield for the second half to stop Wharton and as they having as much? Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of it was just getting on the front foot a bit, going a bit higher, going a bit tighter. We changed it again in the second half and went more like a three. Um, with Manga sitting, um, which I thought, you know, they just got a little 10 minutes where they got a little bit more play, looked a bit more threatened. I thought that that worked pretty well. Um, and as I said, we saw the game through well. So, yeah, I mean, it was, a, you know, like I said, it wasn't all about tactics. Of course, you mentioned about tactics and structure from the front to the back and, and back to the front playing out. But a lot of it is about the feel of performance. And I thought the second half of the feel was there, the energy, the, the belief in each other to go and make a difference. And I was pleased with that. Any further questions before we take uh, one for the Mondays? Just ask about Dwight McNeil's change in position. Sean, what's been the force behind me moving him into the Well, we know he's got quality. We know his, his stats and facts from certainly the first season out here were very strong and he he was working hard. They couldn't quite find the same moment. So, you know, I just, me and the staff, you know, we spoke about it and could we get him inside? I think and Ely's done well in the wide area to allow us maybe more freedom to move Dwight. And of course, you've got to find a result. At the end of the day, you've got to find a win. Um, and I thought we needed that slight meta kind of opening quality, as in finding a pass, finding a finish, finding the delivery and being higher at the pitch and in the midfield, uh, sorry, the centre of the pitch, in theory anyway, as long as we can get the ball in there, then, then you know, that brings him to life more than maybe say, um, on the wide. I think he can do both well and I think he'll mature into that role as he as he plays there more. 